Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars, but with a twist. A blast from the past with Walk Back Wednesday. Let's do it. Our first post is by Afromain19. $50, entrance table, need gone ASAP. I'll give you 25 and I'll pick it up today. Sorry, can't go lower than $50. I need this money for moving expenses. Since I am moving it for you, I will charge you $25 to move it. <laughs> Thumbs up. Cool. Sweet. You can Venmo me or Zell. For sure. It's at Haha -ha Comedy. Pay me, then drop the address. See you tonight. One, no. And two, hell nah. What the fuck? I'm gonna report you for false advertising. <laughs> I know you may be real bored in quarantine, but go find someone else to waste their time. I need a table. You have a table. I do have a table. Do you have $50? I charge for helping people move. Half of product cost. Word up. Good luck with your search. Simp. Aw, a choosing beggar sad they can't get their table. Their little scam of you pay me and I'll move it just didn't work for them this time. This next one is by Vault Dweller 501 As a thank you to the hashtag ESO community, we've added a free bundle that can be found in the in-game crown store. Be sure to log in today to claim yours. Can I have two please? Everyone gets the bundle for free, except you. I bet for them that's easy too. If you have this username, you have to pay. No free for you. This next one is by Acroma14. Bunnings full-time permanent store staff will receive a $1,000 bonus on top of their $1,000 annual bonus. And the customers that pay over the top prices get... The joy to know that the store that they shop at is going to remain open and not close. This next one is by Unsolicited Bullshit. We're looking for someone to watch our 9 year old son. Must have your own vehicle. Must be reliable. Must take COVID-19 seriously. Must be active and take him adventuring sometimes. He's an active boy. Swimming, biking, hiking, to parks, etc. If you're watching him in our home, we have a cat in case you're allergic. He's very self-sufficient, so I'm not wanting to pay much more than $4 an hour. That's what I paid in the past, and I currently pay $20 a day until 5 and then every hour after 5 is another $5 an hour, which would be amazing to keep it that way. First day needed, July 20th. Until the end of August, hours would be Monday 7 to 6, Tuesday 8 to 5, Wednesday 7 to 6, Thursday 8 to 5 or 6, and Friday 8 to 4. At the end of August, the hours will be more like Monday to Friday 8 to 5. You're not going to find somebody to watch your kid for $4 an hour. I, it just, it doesn't compute to me that these people think that they can get daycare or babysitting or whatever for such, such low costs. This next one is by GLHF Productions. Hey, I want to buy an artwork plus intro. Sure, can describe further. I want like a golden horse running in a field, then get wings suddenly and fly. I mean start fly. Like very high so you see cloud. Whoa, that is the coolest I've ever commissioned before. Anyways, I can do $50 for both as a bundle considering your intro is under 20 seconds. It should be at least 30 seconds, and I can only use 10 USD. When will I get it, and what is your PayPal? I want the $10 in post, sent by possibly the most high quality post service of your country, and I will not start till I get the money. Anyways, I got a good laughter out of this, and possibly a Reddit post. Geez, with technology and how far it's come, like, payment through post is such a thing of the past, but I get where they're going with that. <laughs> they know for a fact that this person's not gonna pay. 
This next one is by Vol City. Does 10 a.m. work? What about 11 a.m.? Yes, that works. Please wear a mask. I'll wear a mask if you'll take 30? Nope. Are you joking? I would say I think they are, but I really don't think they are, considering they're a choosing beggar, so yeah, they'll do anything for a discount. This next one is by A230698. Not a very good first impression. Gets the job done, but only three free documents to scan? Then you have to pay to use the app? I thought demos were only for games. Miss those days where companies weren't so greedy. And I'm sure a lot of companies miss the days where potential customers weren't so greedy looking for a handout because they have zero intention to pay for something they're constantly using. But hey, what do I know? This next one is by Silver Sniper 512 Got this engagement ring from my ex-girlfriend. Apparently, it was pure garbage. It was 2300 brand new. Never worn, size 6. It comes with a lifetime warranty. 1200 or best offer. I really applaud this person for having the courage to leave somebody who literally cares more about the size of the rock on their finger than the love of the person that gave them the ring. This next one is by Jinx725. How many likes on TikTok to get this for free? Enough to pay for my wedding. <laughs> Probably a lot then. Can I have a number? Five pounds. The cost of the item plus postage. Go on, I'll humor you. Why do you think you deserve it for free? That book clearly has... And as most, it's gonna go on and on and on about some ridiculous reason of why they think they deserve something for free instead of having to pay for it. This next one is by Potato1234X. I used to like the apps until it does glitch or we could say crash when I started to open the apps. There's glitch words saying creep on the whole screen every time I try to open the apps. I did try to reinstall but it happens again. I didn't pay for it. Please fix this bug or whatever as soon as possible because I've been not able to play for a while. Fix this bug! <laughs> My guess is this beggar got caught by something a lot of devs like to put in their games now to protect and prevent uh, the game from being pirated. Unfortunately, the beggar doesn't think there's anything wrong with downloading the game for free and not paying, thus stealing it, so... <laughs> and our final post is by One Egg Short of a Jar. This story happened yesterday. I am a middle school teacher and have been working on and off from home. In my free time, I have been using my sewing machine to make masks, for free, for the elderly and vulnerable. I am not a professional seamstress, but these masks are up to the standard of most cloth masks sold. I had a woman ask me for five masks for her grandparents, step-grandparents, and a great-uncle. I happily accepted. My post on the group in question clearly labeled that they were three-layer cotton masks. I put them on my doorstep for pickup. She picks them up. I don't receive confirmation of this, which is fine. I didn't do this for praise. I received a few messages the next day, however, stating that she only needed four and the fifth was cut open to check the quality. She berated me via text for them only being three layers as stated in the advertisement. I have ignored the 5 plus messages she has sent today alone. It won't discourage me from helping as I have given 30 plus of these to some really cool folks without incident, but holy hell are some people ungrateful. I can't believe this Karen asked for more than what she really needed just so she could cut the mask open to check the quality. I mean, that's taking materials away from not only you, but a mask away from somebody that could have actually needed one. Thanks, Karen. Alright, that's enough beggars for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell and drop a comment down below. Thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons. Have a great day and stay safe out there.